overview of landmark papers for damage control laparotomy from the East Landmark Papers and Trauma and Acute Care Surgery online resource. The main objective of this study was to evaluate fascial closure rates in patients after vac wound closure and mesh-mediated fascial traction for long-term open abdomen treatment. This was a prospective study that included 151 patients who received vacuum-assisted wound closure and mesh-mediated fascial traction with an open abdomen via midline incision greater than five days between 2006 and 2009 at four hospitals. The technique for fascial closure is depicted on the right of the screen. Inclusion criteria, 111 patients received mesh closure treatment with the main reason for an open abdomen being fascial closure not possible, intra-abdominal hypertension, abdominal compartment syndrome, infection, and planned relaparotomy for assessment of valve viability. The median duration of mesh closure was 12 days, with the median number of tightening procedures being four. 95 patients were alive at the time of fascial closure, with 85 or 89% undergoing primary closure. Eight patients developed an enteroatmospheric or colocutaneous fistula and therefore were not closed primarily. Management of the open abdomen is an important clinical issue. Overall, the vac mesh closure technique has fairly high primary closure rate. 